Hey there, Brian Goulet of GouletPens.com, and this video is something special that we have done, taking a recording from a live streaming on Periscope at Goulet Pens. This was done a little while back when the founder of Visconti, Dante Del Vecchio, was visiting our office, and he's showing a demonstration of how the double reservoir power filler mechanism works on the Visconti Pens. It's pretty cool, especially to hear it from the man who invented it. So I hope you enjoy it. You don't have a, a double reservoir mm -hmm. fill. Uh, with Filled. Everything. No, I mean, we could demonstrate. I don't know if you want to Brian, demonstrate Brian, you have one. the, uh, I, I one of the crimson ties. Because I think that, yeah. yeah, but I don't have the Sooner or later, these guys have to sell it. Are you guys it. familiar with our double reservoir power filler? Do you know how it works? No, we don't. Conceptually. No. Okay, have you yeah. guys got a bottle of ink somewhere? Absolutely. Yes. A couple. I think we might have a party in the back. Use water. Ross is going to have to use water. All right, use water. Okay, we can use water. Okay, never mind. That's a good idea. You have a glass? Uh, can you get a cup? Yeah, Dulce, <laughs> use, I'll let you touch. Use, use that. Plastic cup. Yeah. Sorry. Um, and don't forget, in this marble pan, the there, is, the there is not mm -hmm. a single yeah. pan that is the same yeah, on the give other. You guys a, because a uh, 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 the, the marble is very big. More swirls. Yeah, we had a we had a few, and this was the last one that was uh, that we kind of got. So I'm going to mm -hmm. send you guys, Brian. I'm going to send you one that's nice. Sophie with more swirls on it. Moonlight's coming soon. Yeah. It's really nice, actually. Mm -hmm. Crystal Matt, the there is any pen that you've dipped during the show? Uh, any? Can you can remember? Uh, this can help me. Should we use, use, use any? Uh, no, no, because this. Can I be see to put some uh, to put some color in there. Oh, Brian, you have a pen, I have a pen, pen with ink in it. Yeah. I think one of these may have been. Uh, done, done. Yeah. That's a drop. No, 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 no need. <laughs> Usually, when you feel a pen, always to time. Mm -hmm. Right. Because <clears throat> in the first shot, you lose some power because there is no, um, I say, there is no uh, ink inside, mm -hmm. and all the um, uh, ceilings have a better performance when they are wet than when they are right. Second point: there is a certain space that is uh, empty, so when you fill the second time, they've been uh, uh, filled from the first time. So the second time you always increase, even any piston pen, any kind of brand, around 10, 15 percent the power. So usually, who fills the pen? The first filling, you flush the feed. To flush the feed is very important because sometimes you leave the pen, say on the table, to be open, and some uh, ink dries. Basically, the ink is made out of four components: water, usually distilled water salt, um, uh, arabic uh, uh, gum, and colorant. Colorant gives, and the last component is phenol. Colorant gives the color of the pen, of the ink, and exists in the world over a million colorants, so we have a big choice of colorants. The, uh, um, the salt gives you the, the density. Ink that is too dense will not uh, fold down in a cartridge or in a converter. Mm -hmm. So density cannot be too liquid, otherwise, other, otherwise the pen will be leaking. Mm -hmm. So there is a, a gap of density, minus or minus, that should be inside of this, uh, in, in this uh, uh, you know range. Uh, range. Mm -hmm. Arabic gum. What do you need to have an Arabic gum? If I put this water in a, a piece of paper. You will see that uh, the stain will go like this, mm -hmm. will not stop. So the rubber gum is used to keep the ink together. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, it will expand, will not stop. Like you talk the paper, if you touch the paper, the, the your writing is not a writing, but will be just going right and left, mm -hmm. absorbed from the paper. You don't want this happen. So do we put a, a little bit of rubber gum to keep the lines together. The phenol is a, a preservative. 
This allows you to use the ink even after 20 years. A friend of mine gave me an ink called Dante ink that was made in 1930. I opened the bottle 50 years after and it was perfectly right. Hmm. So the fennel is the other important thing. The last thing I have to recommend you, uh, be careful about mixing different colors because ink can be acid or alkaline. If you mix two inks that are acid or two inks that are alkaline, it's fine. But if you mix a red that is alkaline and a green that is uh, acid, you make a poison and the pen will not work anymore. Mm. It's just be like a little melt, mm. nearly solid, it'd be a disaster because the ink reacts against the other. Mm -hmm. So be careful when usually the, the, the pen people smell the ink from the smell you can see if, if you can the, the smell that is very penetrating usually is uh, phenol so is uh, acid mm. the alkaline is much more gentle mm. for example most of the waterman inks are very very deeply acid mm. usually every pen that has a cartridge system is acid material because uh, the when you put a cartridge in the pen they feed that is the part of the pen that delivers the ink from the reservoir to the nib, that is, in other words, this part, mm. is dry. Mm. So, have you ever filled a, 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 been a, a cartridge pen? Mm -hmm. When you fill the, the pen from the back, it doesn't go through immediately. Mm -hmm. It takes quite a long, mm -hmm. over sometimes even one or two minutes, mm -hmm. yeah. because the dry part is not uh, is making resistant to the ink to go through mm -hmm. when is this wet this is much more easier mm -hmm. you know what is the principle of the capi capillarity mm -hmm. capillarity is the only principle in the world that can allows the water to go opposite direction to the top when you live in a humid canteen in your home you can see the wall are humid at, to a cer certain extent. This is because capilla capillarity allows the water to go from the ground to the top. And there is another example. If you take a small tube like this, you put on this cup, you will see the water to go up. Mm -hmm. This is called the capillarity attraction. And it's the only one that allows the ink to go from the reservoir to the top. This works much better if the, the environment is humid. If it, everything is dry, it's much more difficult. Mm -hmm. So when you fill a new pen, first always remember, it takes time to the ink to go down. On reverse, a piston pen, it takes the ink not from the back, but from the front. Mm -hmm. uh, it's intuitive that when you fill the pen first, the thing to be wet is just the feed. Mm -hmm. That is very positive. But because it's new, sometimes in with the, the machines, there is always some oil left. Mm -hmm. A new feed is much more takes much more time to get to become wet. We call that in wet in a very technical word. <laughs> 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 because it really is not wet. But when you open a, a fountain pen that is used, you open it, and you look the feed, the feed is full of salt. This mm -hmm. helps the capilla capillarity because all salt material is helps the, the humidity to go through. Uh, salt ac accelerates rust. The reaction, mm -hmm. salt is a very good for reaction of materials. Also for the ink is one of the most important uh, principles. I'm sorry to tell you this basics, but no, you know, no, this is the, everyone's very fascinated. <laughs> because some kind of can I'll tell you, oh, I can fill my pen that do not rise. Mm -hmm. No, it's not true. Like <laughs> very often, very often they say it leaking. Okay, I can show you a pen that leaks. You see, usually when the pen is new, mm -hmm. there are a few drops of ink that are staying here mm -hmm. that leaks down. The pen is not leaking, but the feed is full of ink because you just filled. Mm -hmm. So the first thing to do is to clean it, absorb it, now you have a feed that has 
the, the ink in the right place. Have you ever wondered yourself why there are all these cuts in the feet? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What is that for? Air? No. Ink huh? flow? No. no. So you're fired. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see who's left. I'm not answering. It's your turn. <laughs> In life, sometimes you cannot say and not ask. You have to leave either <laughs> the, 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 uh, uh, no idea. No idea. Have Aesthetics. you ever considered <laughs> to buy a good book of, of about uh, you know how the things works? <laughs> I really suggest you. When I started my business, I've read every uh, American kind of book. education failed us. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> can Can I have a, a piece of a, tea, a towel, please? Oh, no, oh, oh, come on. <laughs> <laughs> it's, this the, the fins are a regulator, right? This is this is called surface area or no. the tent? No. No, it's not. <laughs> this is exactly. It's very important to know because it's exactly a part of the a fountain pen, you know, teaching. <clears throat> if you look the pens of the 18th century, the earliest Parker, this combs will, will not existing at that time. Mm -hmm. it was just a flat you know, feed, mm -hmm. and there are on the top two small channels, like this. This goes the ink, but was just here flat. Mm -hmm. What happens? In this pen exist two kinds of materials inside, the ink and the air. Mm -hmm. The air is uh, subject to hair pressure. Ink like any kind of liquid, cannot be compressed, cannot be expanded. Mm -hmm. To expand water, you have to boil it, mm -hmm. while hair you can compress or expand. This means that when you are here, or you go to the mountain, you don't have the same pressure. Mm -hmm. In the mountains, the pressure is much more less. You see from any kind of you know weather uh, station, where you indicate the number of millibars that exist in the ground on the or in in the mountains at the same time uh, it's important to know that uh, the airplanes uh, are being have been press are pressurized usually at 3000 meters this means that you, when you go into an airplane in a very short time probably one or two minutes it's let to go from zero to 3000 meters mm -hmm. and you know when they land you have your here sometimes that they locks because uh, it increases the temperature then sorry that the the pressure mm -hmm. so the air wants to go inside your body going through the through the uh, uh, ears or through the 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 transfer of eustache that is inside of your mouth mm -hmm. the pressure is to go somewhere if you ever did diving in your life and you have a cold you cannot dive because you are not able to compensate the outside pressure with the, the inside pressure. Mm -hmm. This is all the basic of any fountain pen. I was telling you that Parker changed his kind of pens in 1940 because uh, Mr. DiCaprio with the, the aviator invented the air transportation in the United States. And at that time, the Parker pen were millions in the States, mm -hmm. like any other waterman and Conklin and so on. People started to use air transportation like a, a normal way of traveling. I cannot, you cannot imagine how much leaking those pens should create. Parker had a huge reservoir, completely free, with no retain to the exit, and people were leaking everywhere. Mm. The pens were leaking everywhere. Just to give you an example, you should wonder why Parker went from the super big reservoir of the vacuumatic to the super small reservoir of the Parker 51 and with a nib that before was a beautiful nib like this mm -hmm. if you look at internet how it's made in the Parker 51 the nib was completely internal of the body mm -hmm. and so thin and all the feed was internal of the body mm -hmm. this means that Parker engineers made an excellent work they made nearly a perfect imitation to a ballpoint with a fountain pen before the, pump, the ballpoint was invented. <laughs> <laughs> Any other brand was following Parker at that time, sometimes mm -hmm. without even knowing why they did it. Mm -hmm. But Parker was, has been forever 
the now the best manufacturer of the pens in the world. Mm -hmm. We were so much advanced about any other. I, if I remember well, we sold over 6 million pieces of the Parker 51 and we tested one year in Brazil before launching actually in the market. Mm -hmm. Think about how much important the pen was. Mm -hmm. So what I was, I, I made this speech to let you understand that <laughs> inside of this pen there are two things. This is air, this is liquid. Now pretend that uh, you follow the instruction of Mont Blanc. <laughs> Mont Blanc, in their uh, writing, uh, in their guarantee, in their instruction uh, use, is written, before taking off, fill your pen. Why? The point is that we do not allow you to fill your pen because we do not have invented the, the, a, a traveling pot like I did. <laughs> <laughs> Second point, you are supposed to go after, you know, the check-in to take your Mont Blanc ink, like my father used to do, you know, take a bottle of glass ink, take your pen, fill it, you know, and then you, you can leave it. You know why you should fill your pen? Do you know why Mont Blanc says this? If you fill your pen with ink and there's no air, to expand mm -hmm. when you go in the airplane. Right. The expansion of the air when you go up in the air, that then yeah, the air has to go out, somewhere, yeah. expands, yeah. and it pushes the ink out of the nib. If you fill your pen before you go on an airplane, <laughs> the idea is there's no air to expand, so it won't leak. Now, now if you, Dante, if, if, if this is full of ink, a solution to this problem. <laughs> if this is full of ink, there will be no air. So since the ink is not sensible to the uh, pressure variation, mm -hmm. we don't have any problem. But you can still tell to me, say, what happened if I write during the flight. Mm -hmm. To come here, I spent 10 hours in the flight, I can, I can write not war and peace, but nearly, <laughs> <laughs> if I want. Yeah. It's very easy to understand. When you write at that you know, height, the air that goes inside is exactly balanced with the air outside, mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. we will not have a problem. Then when you go and land, the, the pressure is going from minus to plus, mm -hmm. so it's going to increase. So the flush of the air is from outside to inside the pen, mm -hmm. this direction. Yeah, so the problem is when you take off, mm -hmm. that the hair is, is expanding, it wants to go outside. Mm -hmm. So what is happening? The second rule of Blanc is keep your pen with the nib up, mm -hmm. so in your pocket. Mm -hmm. But then if you put your jacket in the, in the trunk, it doesn't work anymore because mm -hmm. the pen goes in this direction. If you keep your pen standing, you understand this is expansion, air goes out, back and forth, nothing happens. Mm -hmm. But if your pen is in your briefcase, and for some reason is in this position, air will expand and spill out all the ink. Mm -hmm. Another big point for, I don't know if you guys you know this, but uh, for over 10 years they made many brands not big brand, but disposable brand like Eilot or Sakura, many Japanese brands, they made disposable fountain pens. Mm -hmm. so they cost usually $2, $3, mm -hmm. and you buy fountain pen pre-filled. Yeah. So you can use it, usually when the pen was new, no problem, because you don't want to put a small reservoir in a pen that you have to throw away. Mm -hmm. So everybody was tempted to put a lot of ink. Now. What I've seen during the flight is incredible, mm -hmm. because when the pen is full, no problem, but when the pen was half, started to, to leak tremendously, mm -hmm. and they couldn't make a small reservoir. So every kind of pen in the market of any brand, a cartridge is 0 0.6 cc of ink. Usually is, just to give you an idea, this much. <laughs> mm -hmm. A small amount of ink a, of ink cannot create a problem. Mm -hmm. This is intuitive. Mm -hmm. But on the other end, we're not right long. Right. Mm -hmm. That's why cartridge converter pens don't. Converter is pens. a little bit bigger. Usually, by you know, the our engineers tell us that up to one cc of ink is fine. Pelican, that has the largest reservoir in the market, is reaching 1.5 cc of ink. Already is is the very limit. Here you can have up to 5 cc of ink, mm -hmm. that is usually 10 times more than any kind of standard pen. It's a huge amount. Said this, you know, uh,
to use properly a fountain pen while traveling, this pen, you should fit the pen at once and the patent is very uh, simple. We have divided the reservoir in two portions, one small for daily use, one big to refill. Let's follow the Mont Blanc instruction. We are Germans, we are never wrong. <laughs> 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 no comment. We have German Americans. So no Before taking off, <coughs> I say I've been. We're in Richmond. We are here. I've been. I am, a, a, say, a, an engineer. I made my conference. I took my notes. I used my pen, my my pen. And this evening, I might fly back to my family. I go there. I my gosh, my fountain pen is empty. So what I'm supposed to do? Refill, like Mont Blanc is saying. Mm -hmm. I don't have a bottle of ink with me. I have. Because one, before taking off, you go like this, open the blind cap, allow the ink to go in the front. Wow. Now this pen is full. That's crazy. Mm. So how, much this ink, is how much ink is up here right now? 0 0.6 cc. Uh -huh. A little bit less. Okay. To be super safe. Here you have your inkwell that is sitting exactly inside of your pen and not in your pocket. You go in the airplane, you write your notes, the pen runs out of ink, you can refill it as many times as you want. You will never have a problem once you are on the level. But as per our instruction, before refilling, keep the nib up. This, once it's empty, is the pressure cut chamber to allow this, the extra pressure here to expand without leaking. Mm. This usually allows up to five, seven refills of the front chamber. Mm -hmm. Is a lot. Mm -hmm. Like to, to, ch to change seven cartridges. Mm -hmm. yeah. Nobody like goes around with a box of cartridges in their pocket, mm -hmm. even <laughs> a super writer. Yesterday we've seen doctor with seven pens here. I say, okay, throw them all away, I give you this. This is equal to pen. Ha, <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Vecchio. <laughs> now, there is another point, that even if this small reservoir uh, is small, but you can still have half uh, air and half ink, mm -hmm. you will have a, a micro leak you can still have. Now we understand the point why this comes has been invented in early 1910-1920 because these are combs that are able to catch one or two drops of ink. Mm -hmm. So when you write, even your hands are increasing the temperature of the ink inside, uh, also the fewer that it may expand a little bit. So then it's not able to spill out a big quantity of ink, but just one drop. Mm -hmm. In this case, this feed is catching the extra amount of ink and what happened? When you keep writing, this feed is so intelligent that we're not going to use the ink of the reservoir, but we take the first the one that is in the combs, mm -hmm. and when it's finished, we take again the ink from the back. Mm -hmm. This is a part of the of the quality of designing a good ink feed. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. For example, our ink feed has a very complicated, you know, um, uh, ink way. This means that the inkway is the direction, the channel of the ink goes from the reservoir to the nib. Another channel is the direction of the air to go from outside to go inside. Mm -hmm. In the oldest pen was the same channel. Mm -hmm. On the low hand you have the ink, on the upper hand you have the air. The ink was going this direction, the ink air was going opposite direction. Mm -hmm. Because remember, if something has to go in the paper, Something else is to go in the reservoir, mm -hmm. otherwise the pen does not work. Mm -hmm. Very often, when a pen is not writing properly, because one of the two channels are collapsed or clogged. Mm -hmm. If, for example, I forget the pen open like this for, let's say, one day or two days, sometimes for, for weeks, the ink is dried inside of this little channel. Mm -hmm. So if it's clogged from some, it's some dried ink that is sold and colorant and uh, uh, rubbing gum, all these things together is not visible by the naked eye. Mm -hmm. But really, the channel is, let's say, for one third or one half 
is, is, is closed. So we will not have a proper ink flow. If you write very slowly, the pen will go. If you write, let's say, signature very fast, it doesn't work. And sometimes the ink is not able to, uh, to wash the channel because uh, of the ink that is left is probably very old or becomes very hard. Sometimes, even with the ultrasonic machines, we are not able to clean the old ink. Plus, there is another fair point, the brand. The inks are not all the same. Mm -hmm. Pretend that you've used the Waterman ink, and then you use another ink from another brand that are not the same, makes a little bit of reaction inside, the pen is really not working anymore. Mm -hmm. And this is the weak point of fountain pens. It's very, very difficult to have a pen to do a good performance. Or, let's say, not as difficult, but you need experience. Mm -hmm. That, in this market... You have cleaning habits, too. Yeah. Uh, say, you know, myself, I am I'm not an example. <laughs> <laughs> I never clean my pens, <laughs> make a pen, you know, really. But uh, usually any kind of, uh, you know, manual will tell you to flush your pen at least once every month. Mm -hmm. If you don't write, is spill out the ink, any kind of water is good, even the tap water, better if it's still water, but the tap water is also fine, unless it's not hot, you don't need to have hot water because this can damage mm -hmm. some parts of the pen, the ceiling, can damage the feed. This feed is a certain pressure to keep the nip a little bit open. The perfect position when you look against here to see a little bit of line between the two tines of the nip. Mm -hmm. If it's too close, it's like your tap water. It's too close, the ink cannot go through. Mm -hmm. If it's too open, it will be too much. Mm -hmm. So the perfect is to be a line that is around one tenth of a millimeter sitting between, between the two prongs of the nips. Mm -hmm. With some time and some experience, it's easy. Mm -hmm. But to a new coming, people will be desperate to, to make this work. Another very we, ne we never have those issues. <laughs> <laughs> Our customers never have <laughs> <laughs> Another very important point <coughs> is the hand pressure. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Usually, mm -hmm. I don't have problem with pens for one reason. I have a an heavy hand. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so when I write, I press. Yeah. So this is not a problem because I open every kind of nip. Yeah. <laughs> flex, non-flex. It's very but similar. But the yeah. problem that many customers, very often, they are really very nearly not touching the paper. In this case, the, the nib has to be has to be pre-opened by, by itself. Mm -hmm. So what keeps the nib open or not is the feed. Mm -hmm. Now, when you put the feed into the hot water, the feed is, uh, is made out of plastic or, or ebonite. It melts and it loses the, 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 the power to keep the nib open. The nib wins, push the, the, the feed up mm -hmm. because of the heat, and it's not, the pen is not writing anymore. Mm -hmm explain this to him. He was just flushing his pen without water. Mm -hmm. Before flushing, the pen was perfect. After flushing, the pen will not rise anymore. Mm -hmm. has to be sent back for servicing. Mm -hmm. This always happened. Mm -hmm. Classical example. Mm -hmm. But in other words, you know, let's go to the double reservoir. To empty the pen, always keep it like, like this. Here there is a valve inside. This is the piston. Mm -hmm. When you go down, this should go somewhere. If you go like this, you see, it goes exactly from the center of the, of the piston. The outside is always sealed. Mm -hmm. When you want to empty the pen, just press, hmm, and the nib and the ink is spilled outside. Now you have an empty pen. When you want to fill, put it down, the ink has always to reach the section because the air hole is right here next to the section. So if you put the, 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 the ink up to half level, you will not be able to fill. But if you put all down, you always to count five. Parker in 1910 was used to tell the customer, count 10. Because the hole to get the ink ink is very small. And we are using water. Usually ink is much more dense than water. 
Now, your pen is full, you can fly if you want to write. Now the pen is full. After writing, you see this always decreasing up to half. It will not be all empty completely because the, 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 the feed is not able to catch the last drop of ink. Mm -hmm. Now, before taking off, say, you know what? I'm not going to use the pen. I want to take a good sleep. I work too much. <laughs> <laughs> I can say fast, but it's more, you know, romantic. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> you know what I do? I will empty my pen. Go like this. You close the pen. Now you have what I call an empty pen, but full. <laughs> Usually, you know, your luggage is going in the trunk, and the trunk is not pressurized in an airplane. That is minus 10,000. Right. The, 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 the airplane flies at usually 10,000 meters. There is a tremendous pressure at the top. This is proved to be safe in the trunk. Mm -hmm. You can put your pen in the trunk without caring. This is empty, but will not leak. Mm -hmm. Also, it's very important for storage. If you have a collection of pens, four or five pens, you don't use them, uh, all of them every day, mm -hmm. you put the pen like this, the pen is safe. Mm -hmm. It can stay like this months. Mm -hmm. but when you want to use, the pen will always be perfectly ready for writing. Mm -hmm. The last recommendation I will, lay, I, I will tell you, let's do like this. Just wet the nib into some water. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm just to flush a few ink that is in, in the feed, but it's not strictly necessary. Mm -hmm. I have a, a Wall Street from years that I use very rarely in my desk. It writes, as soon as I put the ink, it writes immediately. Mm -hmm. So it's personal test, so you can believe it. <laughs> <laughs> it's incredible. It's great. It's I got the, the American patent in 1998. It took me two years to, to get it. This is the fi this is the finest fitting system there is. Yeah, I mean this it's is very simple. Is nearly no maintenance. Yeah. Surely, yeah. surely, I mean, no maintenance at I mean, all. And this is what we have on our. Uh, you see, yeah. it's fully visible. It's like having a bottle of ink inside your pen. It really is amazing, yeah. but it needs to be demonstrated. Once you see how it works. Yeah. Yeah, Brian, only we had somebody that could do a good video. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> if only we had an exclusive we have, we have pen that featured this. We have uh, <laughs> the Crimson when, Tide. When the ink's up here, the Opera Master, the Crimson Tide. Under pressure. Yeah, but if the video well, where's the, the pressure pen? that's up here oh, yeah. going? Well, I'm going to make one. Yeah, yeah the pen that you guys have got has got that exact pen yes. system in it. That's why I'm watching very intently here as yeah. he's talking. The, the last recommendation I want to... This system is not allowing the pen to be full at 100%. There will always be some air inside. And there is a reason. You see? This is the writing portion. So it is not supposed to be exist for writing, but not to fill the pen. Because when I feed the pen, I don't use this portion in the front. My piston goes from here to here. This portion is called an expansion room that is necessary to, to the pen, but is not conceived to fill the pen. In fact, you have, let's say, a, a free run. You see, in this direction, there is a free run. When you put it down, here you feel that it's tight. Mm -hmm. You know, this is filling usually at 90%, nearly 95%. Mm -hmm. This is supposed to fill the pen, this is full. Then you have the space that is kept from the mm -hmm. piston, so it cannot be filled because there is the piston inside. Mm -hmm. So this, the efficiency of the system is around 95%. Mm -hmm. But if you keep the pen in this position, it seems that it's half end. Mm -hmm. Even worse, if you fill the lower chamber, now it's really half end. Mm -hmm. This is difficult to explain. <laughs> <laughs> because uh, the system is made in this way. Mm -hmm. When we made the pens to Girard Perigot with uh, a special design, a very expensive pen, for them it was very difficult to explain how the pen has an efficiency of 95%, but couldn't be filled only in half. Mm -hmm. 
<laughs> There's still a ton of ink in there. A yeah. ton. Yeah. I mean, but uh, just this is very important for them to know that if a customer asks, my pen is full in half, it's not true. Mm -hmm. Because first of all, you have transferred some of ink in the front reservoir. Mm -hmm. So it's just, I put, you know, from a gas station, I take some pen from there and I put it in my car. <laughs> right, right. Who works? It's not this, it's this one. Mm -hmm. yeah. right. Right. For daily writing, this is just is the petrol station. Mm. Dante, so there is an answer to this. Yeah, there is an answer time. to this. <laughs> you're, you're, and you came up with the answer. Did you fill with the What's ink? What's the answer? The, whole thing. the answer is the Wisconsin traveling inkwell. Which yeah, but explain this to uh, <laughs> to a man through internet. Mm. Video. Mm, okay. We just we just published a video this week on the, on the we, with traveling. The, with traveling pot. You know when you use the traveling this. All this portion is going to be yeah. filled. The whole pen will fill up. Because usually what you do, when you fill a pen, you fill always from this position. So it's very easy to understand that there likes to go up, not to go down. So the part that fills is always the lower part. So this part cannot be filled. But when you, you use a travel ink pot that is exactly reversed, the ink will fall down uh, full down in the pen, mm -hmm. there will automatically go through. So even this part that usually is not fit will be filled. Mm -hmm. The traveling pot will increase around 55% the capacity of this pen and brings to much over 15 you know, cc of ink. Mm -hmm. yeah. For real, you know, yesterday we got one man, you know, in uh, the doctor, used to go around with six, seven pens because when he writes notes, in the hospital, he easily can empty two or three pens hmm. with cartridges. Hmm. Hmm. It means that his daily use is over one or two cc of it.